Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and Icon from Harbor Freight has a couple of actually fairly comprehensive and well-built Allen or hex key wrench sets. Now they make a couple of them, two different ones, uh, for each of the SAE and the metric. This is the color-coded long ball end version, and the maximum suggested retail price of these from Harbor Freight is about $21, which is not bad for a, um, a set of... Uh, S2 steel long reach ball and hex wrenches, especially a set this comprehensive. Comes in this plastic case. The case I actually really like. That's one of the benefits, and they actually don't mention the the real uh, advantage that this case has over a lot of these other kind of plastic cases. And I'm going to compare it head to head to PB Swiss um, and to Vera. And first of all, the Icon, uh, as far as the comprehensive list of sizes. This is one and a half millimeters, two, two and a half, three, four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, a lot of these kind of skip the ones you almost never see or maybe never see. This is a ten, this is a PB Swiss set. We've got a ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two and a half, two, and one and a half. Um, that is probably enough for almost every single job. The last time I saw one this comprehensive was like 30 years ago, and that's when I picked up this Craftsman set made in the USA. Ball land. It's kind of a medium to short length um, or regular length, and actually it's quite well made. We're going to look at these ball ends uh, pretty close, and I remember uh, one time using this thing outside, and I actually it was raining and I got a bunch of rain or a bunch of water in my toolbox and back then I didn't do anything about it. Um, so it kind of rusted. But anyway, if you look at this again, it is that same full range from one and a half, uh, no skips to 10 plus a five and a half, four and a half and two and a half. Um, and I got this for gosh, maybe 20 bucks mm, at least 30 years ago. Um, right now, for a lot of the ball ball stuff, I will use this snap-on set. I assume these are made by Eklund. I'm not sure with this this profile. I, I'm pretty confident that these are. Um, these are just they're a good deal for both a snap-on branded tool, um, and they just work really well. Um, and this has that gold color, which seems to be a little bit sturdier. But anyway, um, for most things, these are pretty handy unless the handle gets in the way. But you can see on this one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, four, five six, seven, eight, and ten all in this little pack. But let's go back to the icon here. Uh, talking about this plastic case, what's kind of amazing, and it's not mentioned anywhere on the packaging, but, and I, I checked it, you know, tested it over and over, and it seems, yeah, that I guess is a feature. What it is, is these are in fairly tight, but if you turn them a little, they slide just gently. In fact, I should be able to get it to slide right out. But if you click it straight, it's locked in right here. You turn it a little and it'll slide just like that. You know, it's almost like those socket rails. Turn it so it's aligned and it's it stays in. Same with this. You see that? I can just slide that in and out. It'll just fall right out. But the moment I uh, slide that in, I turn it it's locked in. You you know, it's hard to push out. So, but I turn it a little bit and this thing slides right out. But let's take a closer look at something. Let me grab the five out of this kit. Um, so here's what's going on. Uh, if I compare that, I'll pull the five out of this um, PB Swiss and the five out of the Vera here and we'll go over some of the differences. So here is the five. Um, PB Swiss and Vera seem to have standardized as orange as the five color, whereas Harbor Freight, it's this kind of indigo blue. Um, so Harbor Freight's kind of got its own set of colors here compared to these bright rainbow colors. But here's what's going on. First of all, Harbor Freight has got a fully painted shaft. You can see that the PB Swiss has got a heavy paint uh, but it stops revealing um, what I believe is stainless steel. Very high quality, but also PB Swiss expensive and serialized. Vera, on the other hand, um, uses 
a plastic coating or plastic cover stuck to it. This can present a problem if you've got restrictive access because this actually makes these things much thicker. In fact, if you just look at this, you might think this is going up to like a 15 or 20 millimeter, some huge thing. It's only a 10. It's the same size as that that um, indigo colored one there from Harbor Freight. So uh, it's nice, but yeah, these do break, they do chip, they do melt, and they do add a lot of diameter. But it's probably one of the best fitting uh, hex wrenches. So going back to these three, on the front end, um, as I mentioned, Harbor Freight is completely painted. That will show, you know, its use, its wear. On the back end, though, is where the action is. If you look at these three balls here, so I've got the, you can easily tell, I guess, the Vero with the plastic coat, the PB Swiss with the paint. But if you look at that, they are significantly different. And in fact, even going back to my ancient little, uh, um, craftsman you can see that is how you do a ball even the craftsman's a little thin compared to the harbor freight we're going to measure that so what harbor freight claims is that ball end which isn't even much of a ball which is kind of wild i mean icon yeah they cut corners that's how they can get the price down but remember 30 years ago i paid it paid the same amount for this craftsman set so you know, I guess with inflation, that means it's about $200, but whatever. Anyway, if you look at these, what I'd like to do is actually compare the operation. Overall, for general um, hexing, these Harbor Freight Icon ones are fine. But if you're after a ball end, and the reason you want a ball end is so if you have it in a fastener, you can actually come in at an angle. You see that? That amount of play there? Harbor Freight claims 20 degrees. Um, I can tell you up front, no. So this is how I know. What I'm going to do is grab my angle measurement. There it is. I'm going to use this little Klein one here. And I'll start out, say, with a PB Swiss. So I'm just going to slide that right up there. And I will use, let's see. Here's a good one. I'll use this. It's kind of like a, a furniture coupler. This is five millimeter, drops right in nice and solid. So it gives me a good working platform. So you can see this right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zero this right there. And then as I start leaning it, you can see there's seven, eight, nine, 10. There's 14, 15, 16. Got to keep that lined up. There's 21. So this is what 22.6 degrees looks like. Got that? I don't know if you can read it on this side as I try to rotate it. But anyway, 22.6 is what I've got. Here's 27 degrees. That's what I'm able to do. And just to show you here, that is able to rotate the fastener. Okay? Let's try the Harbor Freight. First, I'll show you. I'm going to drop it in. There it is. That is the limit of it right there. So I'm going to put this on again, line that up. I'm going to hold it straight up and down and zero it again. Of course, this isn't precise, but close enough right there. And now I'm going to start leaning it. I guess, why is it doing that? Flip that around and zero. Come here. Oops, I switched it. Okay, there we go, it's zeroed. Now I'm gonna start tilting it right there. That's the end, like clockwork, right there. 13 degrees, that is a full seven degrees off of what they say and um, over 10 degrees off of what the Harbor Freight, I mean, excuse me, what the PB Swiss says. So this is not giving me near the, the ball um, advantage. So if you want a ball end one, this fails. If you want what I think might be one of the best plastic case holders, so you can easily slide these things in and out, uh, that might be the icon. Just snap that in and it's locked. Close, at least for a while. Nice and solid. Uh, great length. 
Um, they are all different colors, barely. You know, if you look at these, I can't tell. It looks like there's a maybe a slight shade difference, but maybe not. Anyway, uh, is it worth the money? Yeah, unless you really need that ball angle. On the Vera here, if I drop that one in, again, I've got almost PB Swiss level um, level bending, but I should be able to come in way at an angle, just like that, and I cannot with the uh, with the icon. Sorry, I lost my audio. My mic died. But anyway, you can see the ball end is where they really kind of save some costs. They didn't make it as elaborate. Now, for $10, you can get this Vera set. This, I think, is the best deal on Amazon. It's also one of the best holding designs. It really sticks in. I'll put a link below, but you can see how that little plastic case works. Real solid and literally might have even been less than 10 bucks, 9 bucks. I did a video on it. Um, but the Vera just makes fabulous hex wrenches and Torx wrenches as well. Um, but anyway, so the Icon, yeah, I can recommend it. I think it's a good solid set, both the SAE and the uh, metric. But one of the problems is um, that ball end. They just really did not finish that the way they should have. That's where they save some cost. Um, you know, even if I compare that to, you know, old school designs. It's just not deep enough. It's not round enough. Um, so I wouldn't call that the professional level, but for an S2 steel long reach color coded hex wrench set, I think the, um, the icon is plenty good and I can recommend it. Now, uh, Harbor Freight, of course, has those coupons, so you can get it for significantly less than I pay because I always pay full price, but that's just me because I'm not in town that often. Um, but for an overall fit, finish, and it's, it's, it's honestly a PB, PB Swiss fit. It's, it's a perfect fit, but the angle's off. Anyway, with that, dock out.